Good day, everybody. So in my last video, I talked about front post double crochet and how you do those. So there's actually another stitch called back post double crochet, and it's kind of like, I guess, like a sister stitch, sister stitch. Okay, I think I just like totally made that up. Is Would that make sense? Like it's their like sister stitches? I don't know. Okay. Anyways, it's the sister stitch, we're going to call it, of the front post double crochet. Just there's one tiny little change in there, and that is that the word front is replaced by back. So maybe if you're really sure, if you figured out what the difference is going to be, and basically what it will do is unlike the front post stitches where they appear on the front of your work, the back post stitches will appear on the, yes, you got it, the back of your work. So it's gonna be pretty similar, but it's a little bit different. So let's follow along and I'll show you how to do the stitch. So here we are, I've got a row of double crochet that I'm gonna be working in. And I've done two just normal double crochet on the top here. So the front post double crochet, it's very similar, it's the same idea. So just like with a double crochet or a front post double crochet, we yarn over first. And it's going to be the same steps as a double crochet, just again, the only difference is where we insert the hook and also how we do it. Normally we would insert our hook right here, because if you look from the top, that's where our next V is. If you look from the side, we go in right there. But instead of working in this top part, we're going to work around the post. So let's first find the post. This is the post right here, and the way we know that is because it's directly below this butt here. So that's the post. I'm going to kind of stretch it out big here so you can see it. But with the front post, we come in this way. But on the back post, it's a little bit different. Instead of coming from the front, we're going to work it on the back. So that means we're going to keep our yarn over on the hook. Then we're going to come to the back of the yarn, or the back of our project. So you kind of see, I'll turn it this way. And we're going to insert our hook from back to front show you from this angle. Insert our hook from back to front. So it kind of feels weird and probably looks really weird. And then we're going to go ahead and go from the front to back on the opposite side of the post. So it's like that. We're going to come in there. If you look from this side, that's kind of like this. And so this is the back here. So now our hook is around the front of that stitches post. So here's what it looks like from the back. It looks kind of like uh, the front post double crochet, but really it's just reversing everything and sending it to the back. So I'm going to leave it at this angle so you can see what I'm doing. So then I'm going to go ahead and just complete my double crochet stitch. So I'm going to yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So if you look at it from the front here, you can see where it went around the post, and you can kind of see the top of it there. But if we flip it over and look on the back, now it's a little bit loose right there because I was doing it slowly for the tutorial. But hey, doesn't that look kind of familiar? Doesn't that look kind of like the front post stitch? So let's go down and we'll do a couple more. So I'm just going to do some double crochet to get to my next spot. Now again, just like with the front post double crochet, when we do back post double crochet, we don't work in this spot right above where we just worked in. So we're going to come to this guy right here and complete just a normal double crochet stitch. We'll do one more in the next spot just so we're far enough away from the other back post stitch. And then we're going to repeat the process. So yarn over. If it helps you, you can kind of flip your work over like this. Um, I can't really do this to film it because or else it just looks like a big tangled blob. So I'm going to say looking from this way, but if that helps you, you can do it from the back. So instead of coming in this way, I'm going to come, make sure I keep that yarn over on, I'm going to come this way. So come up to the front. And then I'm going to go around it by going to the back. So now that stitch is on the hook here. Here's what it looks like from the hook front. So then I'll complete it just like normal. I'm going to yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over, pull through two. So now we've got two back post double crochet on our work here. So let's look at it from the back. You sometimes may need to, if your stitches aren't particularly even, you may kind of want to adjust and stretch and play with the post 
from the preceding row to get it to kind of sit on there nicely. But you can see that it looks pretty similar to our front post double crochet, but now we're able to work going that way and still have the, the post appear on this side. Now I'm just gonna complete this row. And while I'm talking about this, I'll go ahead and mention that the same idea is applied if you're doing front post or back post, any kind of stitches. So what we've done is a front post double crochet and a back post double crochet. But let's say you wanna do a front post or back post treble crochet. Well, then you just follow the same steps as far as how to complete a treble crochet, but then you follow the steps from this tutorial and my preceding one on where you insert the hook. And that's what makes all the difference. And I'll also throw out there that all the tips that I shared in my follow-up video about front post double crochet, you can do the same basic ideas with the back post double crochet. Just you wanna remember that everything's kind of flipped around, it's kind of reversed. So you just gotta kind of reverse the way you do the steps in your mind. But there you go, now you know how to do a back post double crochet. So here you go, here's your sort of finished project. I guess it's not really a project because I'm just showing a stitch and I've got the tail ends here. This is still feeding from the yarn. So I guess finished was the wrong word there. But anyways, you've got your little patch here. This is actually the front of the work because remember we were doing back post double crochet. So the posts are gonna appear on the back. And so there you go, check it out, it looks so pretty. You can see all the nice detail, how it kind of sits in front, even though you were working on the, technically the back side of your fabric. So that's really cool because it helps you do a lot of patterns. Like if you're changing back and forth each direction, as I explained, you can get all your stitches to land on the same side by using on the first round, you do front post stitches. On the second row, you do back post. On the next row, you do front. On the next row, you do back. And so it'll put all those front and back post stitches appearing on the same side of your work. And then you'll just have this funny looking side where you work around the back of the stitches on the other side. So you do have to kind of think that through for like what kind of projects you use these stitches for, but they're pretty handy. They can add a lot more texture and I personally really enjoy them. I think they're lots of fun. So until next time, happy crafting.